Hey, what's going on YouTube? Breck is back again. Just wanted to give you guys my thoughts on the Kobe 10. Here's just some footage of me messing around with the Kobe 10 uh, Nike ID, seeing what I can do, what I can make. Uh, every year I get a couple Nike IDs. Uh, I do have like, I want to say six to seven pairs of Kobe IDs combining from the Kobe 8 and the 9s. Uh, I have a ton of them. I also bought a couple online. But anyway, let's just get straight into a discussion. What do you guys think of the Kobe 10? Uh, me, personally, I'm not really a fan of it. It looks exactly like a phenomenon. If you took away the Kobe logos, does it scream Kobe to you? I don't really think so. Um, also watched Nightwing's performance review. Nothing groundbreaking. I really didn't like how the upper looked visually to begin with especially if it doesn't scream great basketball performance i don't know if i want it especially with its high price point at 179.99 usd in canada it's always plus 30 to 40 dollars before taxes so it's probably going to be around 220 to 230 before taxes that is absolutely crazy i don't know if i want to spend that kind of money but i always try to find the best deal i think the kobe's this year will sit on shelves. Uh, so far, the colorways that have been previewed from the 5AM to the Silk to the All Star colorway, uh, they all kind of seem boring to me. They all, like the 5AM, is just all blue. Looks really boring. Uh, I really like how the back heel stands out with a little bit of red. The All Star one, I don't understand why they added the tab on it. I might end up just sticking with the Nike ID because so far the colorways, they all look really, really boring. It's like two-tone colorways or monotone. Looks extremely boring, especially with the model on the upper. It's almost like they can't do anything to the upper except gradient fades on the midsole, the sole itself, or maybe even a gradient fade on the upper. But so far, if you see the colors that they've given us on Nike ID, it looks like crap. They always combine a little black within the fuse. I'm really, really hoping that they can prove me wrong and change something about that upper. I mean, maybe there is a flatnet version. There, uh, there was a leaked picture of a high cut version. Maybe there's another flatnet version and they'll maybe do something groundbreaking with that. Who knows? Maybe they'll improve the flatnet overall and how they feel. Maybe make it like the J crossover too. You never know. So far after messing with a couple Nike ID colorways, I'm loving the Chaos and uh, the Sprite colorway the best. Honestly, you know what they should have done? If they wanted to use Zoom and Lunar again, they should have just made a new and improved version of the Kobe 4 with uh, maybe a Flynet upper. That would be something. I think the Zoom bag in the Kobe 4 was one of the largest volumes and it was extremely comfortable. I still have a couple pairs of those and uh I, I absolutely loved it combine it with the new traction that would have been great anyway that's enough rambling from me hope you guys enjoy the video please let me know what you guys think of the kobe 10 so far in the comments down below and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace